Hey everyone, we are backstage here at X Factor. I got my girl Alona. You know, the one thing that um, Simon said is he doesn't understand you as an artist. So how would you describe yourself as an artist and what song, if, obviously you guys have like rules and regulations, if they were like just perform any song you want, what would you perform? Um, I guess I'd perform Wings again. Okay. I mean, it's my audition song and it's what got me through. Yeah. And I just think that's totally me. It's totally giving that fierceness, that attitude, the dance moves, the whole strength and just strong yeah. moves and everything. And I was kind of upset, you know, at that comment that he kind of thought of me as being like this dancing puppet or like mm, some actress that's just harsh, listening yeah. to, you know, creative directors and Demi of, you know, what to do. Yeah. I mean, whatever I did on stage today, I mean, that's me. That's how I wanted to do it. I mean, it's so fierce. It's so me. I challenged myself by singing in the air. Yeah. At first, I was so scared yeah. because it's hard singing in the air. It's, it's hard sitting down even. Yeah. It's just as hard as dancing. Yeah, absolutely. So I just thought I did a great performance, but I guess, you know, he didn't really understand that. And I mean... I made the song my own. It's an Ellie Golding song and her voice is totally different from mine. Yeah. So I made it fierce and everything. So I don't I don't know. I guess I just need to step it up. You know what, you're going to come back swinging, it's going to be okay. On the screen behind us, obviously, is One Direction performing. Uh, did you get to meet oh them, and if God. so, which member did you get to meet? Yes, I got to watch your sound check and everything. I got to take a picture with Niall and Harry, and I mean, it's a girl's dream to meet them, and I'm just so honored that I got to meet them, and I'm just so honored to perform at the same exact stage that they're per performing on right yeah. now. It's so surreal, and... I mean, I've been following them ever since they started on The X Factor, yeah. and they're just amazing boys. We're so down to earth. I just want to be a friend. I just want to be their best friend, just to hang out with them. Like, hey, they're my buddies and everything. You're like, come on, One Direction, let's let's co collab. But I mean, I I was getting so speechless when I was with them, so I didn't really get to like <laughs> interact with them because I'd be like, oh my god. I tried not to freak out in front of them and creep them, so. That's that's good you didn't freak out. I know. Um, say hi to uh, Lee Lilai. Hi, Lee Lilai. What's it like working with Demi Lovato, and what's the best piece of advice she gave you? Um, it's amazing working with Demi Lovato. She is a perfectionist. She really, she's kind of hard on us. I mean, she really wants the best for us. Every little pitch that we do, every little, you know, shake in our voice, she hears that. And I, I love that about her. Even if it's even if she's hard on us, I mean, it's good. She just wants the best for us. And the best advice she's given me is, you know, even if you're so tired and exhausted, you just got to keep going. You got to keep striving for your dream because in the future, you'll just look back at it and be like, I'm so glad that I did that because now it's just paying me off. And, you know, it's, yeah. And it's, and also just to be true to yourself and just be who you are and not be afraid of, to show your personality and, you know, what you are. Absolutely. All right. Good advice, Demi. Bye. Thank you so much for supporting me. Please vote for me. Please. I need you guys. Salamat. <laughs> Salamat po.